It was nothing but tears of joy and pure relief at the Burbank Airport on Tuesday evening when American journalists Laura Ling and Yuna Lee returned home. After hours of negotiations between former President Bill Clinton and North Korea's leader Kim Jong-il, North Korea gave American journalists Laura Ling and Yuna Lee a, quote, pardon, releasing them from North Korea after 140 days of confinement. The two women were working as reporters for Current TV based in San Francisco when they were arrested for allegedly crossing into North Korea illegally. They were then sentenced to 12 years of hard labor. Today we're here in San Francisco to get community reaction and to find out if people think their release will somehow soften the relationship between North Korea and the U.S. What was your thoughts when you heard that the two journalists were released from North Korea? I'm glad that they're home. I think that they're very brave. If I am a journalist, then <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, how did it make you feel when you heard that they were freed? Uh, I heard that I, I heard, when I heard that, it's very delight. Uh, actually, I'm from Korea, South Korea, so I saw the article very uh, considerably. <laughs> so it was very uh, delight to me. <laughs> yeah. So, what is your opinion in the release of the journalist from North Korea? I am very relieved they are released. Uh, I am very grateful for whatever it took to get them out. And I am very interested in hearing what they have to share. Do you think that this somehow will soften the relationship between North Korea and the U.S.? No. I, I can hope, but you're dealing with someone that is erratic and um, may it be an opening. But, you know, this, this, you have somebody here who doesn't, it's not about honoring agreements. I would love to see it happen. I feel terrible for the North, North Koreans, what they have suffered in the last, what, 30, 40 years. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of floods and the starvation, the living in fear is terrible, and very much so. I, I'm very curious. I've been looking at the news the last few days, looking for more information, but they're not re able to provide it yet. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure, you know, after what they've been through. I think it should help soften the relationship between the U.S. and North Korea. And uh, hopefully, you know, uh, let's show them, the people of North Korea, that, you know, democracy and the people of the U.S. really care about these journalists. And uh, diplomacy really does work at, at the end. So it's better than building nuclear weapons, I guess. Well, I think it's a great deal. Uh, it's a great thing that obviously pre uh, former President Clinton went, was able to go to North Korea and get uh, the two journalists released. So I think it's a great it's a great thing. Do you think that this may somehow soften the relationship between the U.S. and North Korea? Well, I think just former President Clinton's ability to uh, go to the country, obviously, indicates that they're interested in having a discussion. I mean, that's why Kim Jong-il wanted someone of high stature. I mean, he commanded basically someone to come and he, they don't want the six-party talks. They want a one-on-one talk with, the, with America. So I think that's it's a good sign. You mentioned the six parties. Do you think that they will eventually come to an agreement? Uh, I think that it's obvious that North Korea does not want six-party talks. They want direct bilateral talks. And if they want direct bilateral talks, and Obama campaigned on having direct contacts and uh, communication with leaders of other countries, then that's what they should do. I don't know if it'll soften the relationship between the two countries. Um, they shouldn't have been taken into custody in the first place. And um, I think um, that North Korea had no choice but to release them because the whole world was watching what they were doing and they were acting like spoiled children. So that's it. Why do you think they should have never been arrested? Um, because um, there's no clear definition of borders around there. They, the journalists are saying they made a mistake. They, you know, took a couple of steps in the wrong direction. That was it. So, you know, it's a lot of people, everybody makes mistakes. You know, it's kind of strange if you say, okay, if I cross the street here, I'm in a different country. People don't think like that. It's the same thing as those guys that got, um, got taken in Iran now. You know, there's no clear definition between the border, Iraq, Iran. It all looks like the same place, right? So people make mistakes. 
that this will soften the relationship between North Korea and the United States? Yeah, it's bad. It is bad. They don't like us. Why do you think they don't like us? I don't know. I think part of it, it could be a whole lot of things, but how do you think Bill Clinton was able to get them to come home? Beautiful. How he, how he did to make it come back, you know, home, you know. He had a good power, he do. Journalists can face many challenges when attempting to gather information about a story. However, Laura Ling and Yuna Lee are two journalists who were willing to face those challenges. Meanwhile, it has been reported that the North Korean government has withdrawn from all nuclear weapons talks with the U.S. and plans to continue its nuclear weapons program for now. That concludes this episode of Street Talk. Please post your comments at yourtake.blip.tv. I'm Teresa Willis.